Hello, folks. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. <laughs> Boy, is he making waves in the Democrat Party. Wow. They are... Uh, they're perplexed on what they're going to do with him. He's got the biggest name in the history of the modern Democrat Party. And they're freaking out because he's getting momentum. You know, because social media now has opened up quite a bit to, uh, quite frankly, some of his more conservative viewpoints as a Democrat, especially because the Democrat Party is so far left so far down a, a, an absolute Marxist road that even he couldn't take it anymore. So there he is. He's, he's in the game. He's in the race. He just might, might, all caps in bold, underlined, might be able to steal or earn the Democrat nomination. What? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. It is a very, very interesting race coming up. There is no doubt in my mind that you could see a Donald Trump as a third party ticket, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as the Democrat nominee, and a Republican, Ron DeSantis, ticket. Think about that for a minute. What on earth would happen then? I suspect if it was a race between a DeSantis, RFK Jr., and Trump... <sighs> I think it actually would be, the race would be between Trump and RFK Jr. I think that RFK Jr. can get enough Republicans that ride the fence and independents that would leave the, the Republican Party just to vote for a Democrat like RFK Jr., and the reason they would do that is they want to see a two-party system working again. And I think, and I'm just speculating right now, I'm just kind of reading the tea leaves, as they say, the crystal ball. Uh, that might be the way it goes there. Now, if that happens, there's no way they'll have enough votes to take out Trump from the Republican side. It's going to... It's if. if Trump runs as an independent, which he might. If the deep state Republicans get their way, you're going to see Trump uh, not going to jail. That's not going to happen. You're going to see a whole bunch of stuff exposed as uh, the, these court cases uh, move on. That's going to really exonerate him and really expose other people and really expose the deep state. It's coming, I'm telling you. And the Democrat Party is in deep trouble with Biden. I mean... It's bad. I don't know if Biden's even going to make it uh, till, till the next election. I don't mean by his age and his health. I mean, they're just going to have to take him out politically. Or just fall on the sword and say, hey, we're going to lose the next election, period, because we're just too dysfunctional. Uh, and and you and doesn't mean that they're not going to do radical things. The Democrat Party, folks, RFK Jr. gives you a great uh, uh, litmus test, if you will, a great contrast to what the Democrat Party used to be before the radicals took over. It's a perfect example. He's really exposing that. And so you've got these deep states in the Republican Party and the Democrat Party that are being exposed. Uh, and those parties are getting weaker. And the independent party is getting stronger and stronger, just like the non-denominational church, if you will. Okay. That's the fastest growing part of Christianity is non-denominational, not a brand of God. Okay. Not a Presbyterian or Catholic or whatever, Baptist. It's not. They're all shrinking. And uh, so it's an interesting time. 
uh, to uh, be studying this stuff and talking about it. And it's going to be about your engagement, folks. It's about we the people. We always talk about on the show that it's about us. And the good news is you can see it starting to steer back towards sanity. Again, RFK Jr., I don't agree with everything he says. I don't. That's a fact. But I do like that he's reasonable enough to have a conversation about it. He's not a radical, anti-American uh, Marxist. He's not. He may come from a family that are former rum runners and uh, bootleggers. I mean, a lot of dirty politics there. That's the dangerous part about being a Kennedy. A lot of bad politics and dirty politics. No doubt about it. Horrific. But you can't convict him over things that his uh, family did. Uh, he didn't do it. Uh, but there's no doubt that he's going to have to have conversations about that and it will come up. So we'll see, folks. Interesting times. Independent run possible with Trump? Absolutely. Could he win? Absolutely. He has 60, 70 million people in his back pocket and uh, they love Trump. Interesting. Whew. Man, it's going to get exciting, folks. Hey, stay tuned to the show uh, every day. Uh, at uh, 3 o'clock uh, Central Time, and you won't want to miss any shows. We archive them at craigbouchon.com as well. You can go back and watch any of them under the Watch uh, uh, tab at the bottom of the page. Check out American. There's a link on there as well. Uh, AmericaICAN.com. Sign the oath. Get engaged. Uh, we're coming, folks. United, we are strong. We will win. God bless you, and we'll see you soon.